Having done with the app setup, now let's move on to creating the models and migration files. By default, Adonis comes with two models and their respective migration files, which are the user model and token model and their respective migration files. The tokens table is used to store users' authentication tokens such as API tokens, refresh tokens, and remember me tokens. We will be making some modifications to the user migration file. We will add in two new fields, which will be the confirmation token field and the is active field. Confirmation. Confirmation. That's called token. Then is underscore active. It should be false by default. The confirmation token will be a random string. That will be generated once a user signs up. Then the active feed will be used to determine whether a user has confirmed his or her email address or not. We need one more migration file, which will be for the password reset table. So let's create it. We will be creating a model along with it. Make model it will be password reset dash m. So this will create a new model and its corresponding migration file. The password reset table will hold users' password reset tokens. It will contain a user email feed. And the actual reset token. Before we run our database migrations, let's make sure we enter the correct database details inside the .env file. My database is complete underscore Adonis underscore hot. You can choose whatever name you prefer. I have created my database, which is obviously empty since we are yet to run the migrations. So now let's run the migration. Adonis migration column one. As you can see, our database has been migrated. And if we head over to SQL Pro and refresh, we should see our tables. With this out of the way, we'll start implementing the user sign up in the next video.